<laughs> okay, snow slippery. Hey guys, I'm still in Switzerland. This is the third part of my Switzerland trip. We've already done Lenzerheide and we've done Davos. Now we are in Lax and Flims. This is the last stop, so this is going to be the last video in the series. Just like the other resorts, we're here as part of the Grabunden tourist board. They've invited us over. Pete is getting some footage and photos for Single Track magazine, and I'm here to do some vlogging. We are here at the Siginia Hotel. Oh, that's taken me a few attempts to say that properly. And yet yeah, the hills here are extremely dramatic. You can't really see them as they're mostly over the hill there. Extremely rocky, cliffy, and yeah, spectacular. We're going to meet our guide Christian. Pete is going to get his new bike. He's really hoping for another trek because he really liked his last one. And yet yeah, we're going to go and yeah, go and explore the hills and find some more amazing tracks to ride. Mr. Pete Scullion has just said that it's very glacial here, so it's a lot more like the Dolomites than the previous uh, resorts we have just been in. So I think we should get up these hills, find the trails, show you guys what they look like and get on with it. Supposedly millions of years ago, there was a mountain here. The estimate was about 5,000 meters high. Then there was a massive landslide and it all went down there and basically filled the valley. Uh, so yeah, I, I like history like that. That's pretty interesting. Today our guide is Christian, he's a local, he's lived here for years so he's going to take us on some of his favourite trails. He looks like he's quite a fast guy and it should be quite good to follow him. Now he's actually with Pete at the minute fixing a puncher, we just had to do a bit of riding to get to this point and the rocks are really sharp so I don't think that's going to be the only puncher today but we'll try our best, we need to ride a, bit, a little bit smoother I think. Tight corners, man. Oh, look at this. This is insane. <laughs> okay, snow slippery. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh man, what a place. Okay everyone, we just spent about four hours up there because this guy likes the views, apparently. Right, this is the trail we're about to go down. Looks pretty rad, shall we? Yeah. Man, this is looking like a prime place to get a puncher.
my bike sounding a bit worse for wear after was it nearly a week of punishing Swiss trails bike needs some TLC I need some TLC Okay, it is the next day. Yesterday was awesome. Today we have got the same gondola up, except now we have ridden, you can barely see it behind there, there's a fire road that can, comes all the way up here. We've probably, how high have we ridden? Maybe 500 meters? Yeah, a little less, 400. About, yeah. Okay, so we've just ridden up about 400 meters to the highest point I think we've been in this trip. So do you know what the altitude is here? Not 2.8. 2,800 meters. Cool, so 2,800 meters. I think that's the highest we've been this entire trip. And of course, we've got views over here. It is looking pretty stunning. And we are about to head down this trail here. Now we do have to cross a few snow fields, so that's gonna be interesting. It's pretty cold up here, so they might not be too slushy. So hopefully we can actually ride across them. Uh, I'm pretty tired today, so I'm not sure how fast we're gonna be able to do this trail. It's going to be pretty rocky as well, so it might be a bit slow and technical, a bit faster later on, but we'll see how we get on. Ready? Yeah. Have fun. You too. Oh, straight onto the snow. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's hard. <laughs> so I saw the mega avalanche and thought, oh, riding on snow. I've seen people ride in, in ski resorts and go pretty fast. Yeah, but that's snow. Yeah, no, that's the difference. I never considered that this type of snow was all slushy and soft. Really cool rock. Oh, the rocks, nice. Ah, oh, feet up, yes. Mammoths over here. <laughs> that was rough.
not interested. Yes, that's cool. That is the roughest landing ever. <laughs> That's a workout. <sighs> Did not expect that. Shaw stuff. It's the first time riding this. Not hitting any stuff I haven't looked at.
no idea what's coming up. Yeah, I'm struggling with this one. Oh, I was a bit scared of those corners. That was good, man. Whoa, such a dusty landing. I'm scared. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Thought I was going to die. Oh, that was a long ride. That was exhausting. That was awesome to go up to such an altitude and then, yeah, such a long, long descent. And finished in a bike park and a flow trail, which is a nice surprise. Really fast, really fun, really scary though. We've now stopped for a bit of lunch. I've got myself a hot dog, which is badly needed. These guys are recuperating as well. And yeah, Pete, what are we doing next? So you wanna eat some sausage in a special Swiss hot dog bun. So you don't have to cut it down the side and open it up and everything falls out. Um, and I think we're going up to go for a swim in the lake. Um, thank you so much for taking us up there, man. That was- Thank you to coming with me. That was amazing. Yeah, such an amazing place to ride. The views are oh, unbelievable. Thanks. Ready? You're ready. Born ready. Enjoy. So this is really cool. This is another place Danny and Claudio came on the Home of Trails uh, Swiss video they did. This is the viewing platform they came to and again, what a view. It's really cool. We've got, even got a train down at the bottom. Looks like a, a model train. But yeah, this is, this is nice. I'm, I'm really liking this. We have found a lake. I've also found a semi-naked Pete. Are you going for a dip? Um, probably. I think I'll have to delete that. <laughs> I think this GoPro's got my uh, wee Pete in it. <laughs> you gotta come in. I'm tempted. No mic for this one, obviously. Time to go for a swim. Who's mic? Right, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Thank you. 
That is the perfect dump here. Right, that is our time in Lax and Flims done. This place is awesome. To be fair, we haven't ridden a bad place in Switzerland. This place is awesome. It is so impressive with the mountains and the trails have just been the best trails I've ever ridden. And yes, this is the last video in my series of Switzerland videos. I hope you really enjoy them. I want to say a huge, huge thanks to Grabunden for getting us over here and letting us ride the trails in their country. It's been absolutely amazing. Also a big thanks to Pete for inviting me along uh, with him on this trip and also to all the guides that took us out, showed us all the best trails. You guys rock. One other thing that really impressed me was my bike. It was feeling a little bit unwell at the end. It was making a bit of a creaking noise. I thought I'd maybe blown a pivot in the frame. Actually, it turns out my rear mech just wasn't very tight and every time I was stamping on the pedals, it was moving in the hangar and making an awful noise. Wish I'd picked that up earlier because yeah, it sounded like hell. But other than the noise, that bike handled everything really, really well. We've ridden some super steep, rough, trails and yeah I've been really happy riding that bike. Likewise with the trust forks I think this has been a good test for them. I've come up with some ideas of what I think uh, of the fork and I will make a video at some point in the future with those forks. But anyway hope you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed the previous videos of us in Switzerland and yeah get out ride your bikes and I'll catch you next time. See you later everyone. Bye bye.